So, what do you want to talk about today? Electrical. I think that's a great idea. What in particular? We're going to do the converter. We're going to replace it? Replace it. Okay, so let's roll on back here. There were some things that led up to this. We first did the um, adding more uh, solar panels yep. on the roof. So we added two and we'll show you that video here. The second thing was the replacement of the AGM batteries with the big battery. Lithium. Lithium battery. And at the same time that we did the replacement of the AGMs with the big ba lithium battery, we also replaced the converter. What does the converter do? It's no, nope, actually, you always get that wrong. Every it's time. It's the solar charge controller. She never. She always swaps them. At some point, I will get all these straight. So, um, when we changed the AGM battery, we also changed the solar charge controller. And why did yes. we do that? Because it was not lithium aware. And why does it matter? Because without that lithium aware, the factory install will only charge the lithium batteries to about 80%. Because, wow. because that unit only knows 13.6 volts and lithium is 14.6. So wow. it would never fully charge it. Well, then, of course, that was completely necessary. Okay, so today you're going to replace the converter. Yes. Why? Because you told me to. <laughs> I didn't tell you this, to do anything. I don't know anything this, about this stuff. This is the last piece of totally bringing our Airstream up into the current technology of lithium. Okay, so... And the controller... That is, now you got me saying controller. The converter <laughs> is the same way. It will not charge the lithium batteries fully because it only thinks it's a regular either AGM or lead acid. Okay. There is no lithium option. Very so interesting. So this will now fully charge. So how big of a job is this going to be? Um, I think on the website they said about 10 minutes, but that that's not right. It's only five wires to replace. Okay. Um, but it's probably going to take at least 30 minutes. Lovely. Well, we should get going then. Or by we, I mean you. Let's get on it. <laughs> All right. Okay. See you in a few minutes. Hold on. Okay. So first things first, always think safety because we're talking electrical here. And if you saw the last uh, episode I did with the charge controller install, I zapped myself. Woo! That was a good time. <laughs> so... Turn off your main power, unplug the shore power. I did the battery disconnect. We're good to go. So I'm ready to get started. But first of all, I wanted to tell you what we've got. Uh, the replacement, this replaces your stock um, 8900 series WFCO inverter that comes on all the 2020 and below uh, to what you're not sure. This is the model, let me find it for you. This is the F. WF8950L2-MBA, specifically recommended from Airstream. They have a document out on this, and they said this is the one that you need to replace with. So this is what we're going to do. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Hey, but the camera's way down here. Hey, listen, I did verify the instruction says 10 minutes and a screwdriver, but I'm not going to rush it because we're talking electrical. Let's get started. All right, there's two screws here and here. Wow, we're almost done. Hey, so while I'm doing this, I'll tell you about, so there's the uh, Progressive, oh, what's the other manufacturer? There's another version out there. Uh, I can't think of it now. Progressive, but it, a lot of people recommend that. But if you go with that model, you not only have to replace the converter, but you also have to replace this whole panel right here. I'm not about to do that. This might only take 10 minutes. I don't know. I just get a little... Uh, it may. It would be awesome if it did, right? Yeah. I love having the screwdriver right next to all the uh, circuit breakers and everything. Just <laughs> living don't on the edge. touch the screwdriver there. Right. <laughs> you're pulling this out. So what is that you're pulling out? This is the old converter. It looks just like... Oh. Here, hold on one second. I'll show you. Yeah, it sure does. So here's... Let me put them side by side. No, they're the exact same size. That's awesome. Um, they've got the wires here, the three wires here. 
and then the other two wires here. So right it should be really simple. <laughs> hey, just to verify though, it was only two screws to get that out. Well, but there was two screws to get the panel off. Oh, yeah. So I don't think they counted those. They, they need to learn how to count. <laughs> but this is interesting. All right. So let me put this aside. Yeah. And then... Which one? Oh, it's this one here. All right. Got to make sure I'm doing the right one. Wiggling it. So what I have to do is I have to come up here and replace this one and this one, I believe. But I want to make sure. Oh, I definitely need a big screwdriver. All right, we're going to have to pause for just a second. I need a bigger screwdriver. Oh, wait. Hold on. What about this? Oh, and it has a light on it. But wait. Oh, There's great. more. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Who's rocking it now? Um, well, I think you want me to say, you are. Mister? <laughs> oh, you know what's going to be fun? What? His fish and his new one back up I in there. I was oh. just thinking that. Holy that it is cow. not That's going to take 10 just, minutes. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's no way. So what did they do? They, they, they put, don't tell you that. Put it behind, and then they fished it through a little hole, and then they wound it around. No. So um, I went ahead and connected the battery back up, uh, turned the battery main shut off back on. So we're running on battery right now. Uh, we're at 100%, I just checked. It always keeps charged. So we're gonna turn on all the lights, the fans, we're gonna do something to the battery to get down a little bit. And then we'll see what happens. We'll probably be back in about uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, Have a I cup think of coffee. So. Yeah, why not? Oh, I could go for a cup of coffee. Okay. Okay. So the install was supposed to take 10 minutes. That was a really, really long 10 minutes. I told you it was going to be about 30 minutes. Yeah, it was about 30 minutes. But most of that was taking off the panel, like sort of getting your hands into... <laughs> Not having the right size screwdriver. Uh, yeah. And then getting again, again zapped by the solar. Because when we started the video, it was raining and cloudy. Yeah. And as we were recording, the sun came out. <laughs> and I even said, oh, look, the sun is coming out again. It kept on like clouding and then sun and clouding and sun. And the temperature here was fluctuating a solid 15 degrees every time the clouds would yeah. come over. So and, I got out the ladder and unplugged the solar. Yeah. <laughs> was that before or after the hail? Before? Yeah, it was like everything that could happen weather-wise here happened today. Yeah. So... Um, what did you learn? Unplug the solar. I'm always unplug the solar. You would have thought I would have learned the first time. <laughs> I feel like we learned that when you were uh, doing the so solar controller. Solar Wasn't that one of our control. lessons? Yes. <laughs> anyway. So? Yeah, so tell me what you were looking at. You were looking at your app for the, um, for the charger. Oh, yeah, I have the Victron, um, mm -hmm. um, monitor the seven series up we'll put it in the link anyway i was watching that um we hooked everything up we turned on everything in the airstream yeah. lights fans action <laughs> we turned on everything and let it go oh and we discovered that even though we knew that our fantastic fans had the rain sensors we weren't really sure how all those would work and today they both closed 
So I think I get this now. The solar charge controller is what controls charging the battery from the solar panels, whereas the converter is what is controlling the charging Oops. of the battery from the shore power. Yeah. The converter is dual purpose. Okay. It does just what you said. Mm -hmm. And when you're plugged into shore power, it powers your 12 volt system. So it says it's a converter because it goes from 110 to 12 volt. Mm -hmm. So it'll power all your 12 volt system. And at the same time, it'll charge you, your uh, battery. I think that's important to know. It is. I think that's important. I think that's a very important thing to know. So anyway, um, I sure really enjoyed uh, hanging out with you while you Ooh. installed that uh, converter. It was fun. Yeah. If you like this video, and I know you did, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. How about subscribing? Hit the bell. If you hit the bell, Ding you on. get notified. You get notified that we put out a new video and you get to watch it right away. And that would be awesome. Yes, it would. Yeah. And? Wait, let me stand up because my legs are getting tired of squatting. Okay. Thanks for being our guest. <laughs> yeah. See you, everyone. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Should I really stand up to show him how tall I am? Maybe. There. And this is why <laughs> he hits his head on I these <laughs> and I don't. Uh, oh, well. Yeah.